Hey friends, welcome to BTEC Bible. I am Tirthankar and in this video I am going to discuss how a transistor acts as a switch. Also this switching property how you can apply in practical circuits that I will also discuss. If you have not subscribed to BTEC Bible then please subscribe it for more such questions and answers. So let's begin. A transistor has three operating regions. This Q point graph tells it all. Active region is when the Q is at somewhere in the uh, middle of the graph. Then the transistor works as an amplifier. Saturation region is when ideally the IC, the collector current, reaches its maximum value. This is the time when uh, the transistor behaves as a short circuit. Cutoff region is when the collector current IC becomes zero. Look at the Q point, then the transistor behaves as an open circuit. Let me elaborate uh, further by using the transistor equation. Look at a sample circuit. This is the most used transistor circuit and this is called common emitter. Here VCE is the output voltage, VB is the input voltage due to which uh, base current IB flows. IC is the collector current here. The equation of the transistor output voltage is uh, VCE equal to VCC minus ICRC. For now, just remember this is the basic equation. In saturation region, when collector current IC reaches its maximum, this factor IC into RC becomes almost equal to VCC. This makes VCE zero. That means there is no output voltage and the transistor is short. In cutoff region, when IC becomes almost zero, this VCE becomes equal to VCC. That means we are getting full output voltage. So transistor is not conducting at all. So transistor is open. Basically, if I uh, sum up the whole thing, then just remember switch off means the transistor is in cutoff region. Switch on means the transistor is in saturation region. At this point, I want to tell you a trick. This is a practical one which you can apply while making transistor circuits. In N, P, N, the base is P, means positive. So if we apply a positive voltage at base, transistor will be in saturation region or you can call switched on else if a negative voltage is applied it will be switched off similarly the pnp transistor the base is n or negative so if we apply a negative voltage then only the pnb will be turned on otherwise it will be completely turned off or switched off just a reverse logic now I will show you how transistor acts as a switch in practical circuits. This can help you in making circuits on your own. To make you understand in a better way, I have designed these two circuits. One is this on my left hand side and another is on my right hand side and your right hand side also. So in the left hand side, what I have taken is a Q1 that is BC547. This is NPN transistor and this is a 12 volt lamp. Uh, which is connected between 12 volt and the collector of this transistor. The base is connected to 1k resistance and 1k resistance is connected to 5 volt through a switch or button. Similarly, the right hand circuit also I have designed it the same way except I have connected one collector resistance here of 4.7k and I have taken the output at VCE, VC is this point and I have connected 100k resistance across the transistor, the collector and the emitter basically and I have connected one voltmeter to show you the voltage. Now this is a Proteus simulator, uh, maybe later on I will make a video on this uh, but let me play this simulation. So look at the left hand side circuit. This is the button which I will press, see the lamp is glowing. When I am releasing it, lamp is off. See, lamp is glowing, lamp is off. That means here this lamp is acting as a load and it is connected to power supply and the collector of the transistor. That means the collector current is flowing through this lamp. 
or you can say the load that's why this is a kind of a positive uh, logic that when i am pressing this button the lamp is switching switched on and when i am releasing this button lamp is switched off so this is basically a circuit joiner or something but in the right hand side circuit look at here we are getting the full voltage that means transistor is in cut off mode why because i have not pressed the switch and transistor is not conducting at all that's why we are almost getting 12 volt so now if i press this button look at the voltage it is zero that means transistor has started conducting and that's why it becomes a short circuit and current is unwilling to uh, go through this path 100k when i am pressing this button see the voltage is reduced to zero and now this is the almost full voltage if you have learned something new then like the video share it with your friends and if you have some query then write it to me in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to btech bible thanks for watching